I'm Nick Moore and this is the brand new Kramer VP551X. It's a 10 input 18 gig or 4K6444 switcher scaler with 8 HDMI inputs and 1 VGA input and 1 composite video input. And on the output side it gives you an HDMI output and an HDBase-T output. And now let's have a quick look at the front panel. From the left, we've got the IR receiver and the IR receiver indicator. We have eight buttons for selecting HDMI, one button for selecting the analog VGA, and another for selecting composite video. We have two buttons, one for freeze and one for mute. And then we move on to the menu section with the navigation buttons. And finally, we have a reset to XGA or 1080p and a panel lock button. Now let's look at the back of the unit. From the left of the unit on the top row, we have the HD15 socket for analog computer signals, an RCA socket for composite video, and two microphone jacks for condenser or dynamic microphones. The microphone inputs provide phantom power if required. Next we have a row of audio inputs on terminal block, each of which corresponds to one of the eight HDMI inputs or the computer graphics input or the composite video input. We have a balanced audio line level output, an SPDIF output and finally the speaker audio output. The speaker output provides 2 by 20 watts output. On the bottom row, we have the 8 HDMI inputs, an HDMI output, and the HDBase-T output. And then we move to the control section with two RS-232 ports, and the Ethernet port, and finally we have our mains power input and on-off switch. There are a couple of important things to note here. The HDBase-T output provides PoE to a suitable acceptor and the data port for RS-232 can be used to tunnel RS-232 information out over the HDBase-T port. And that means that control of the actual VP551X is done via the control RS-232 port on the back of the unit. So what everybody wants to see about a new unit, especially when it's a switcher scaler, is what is the switch time between inputs. And so here we've got my laptop, which is outputting over VGA into the uh, VP551X. And I've also got the 861 test pattern generator, which is outputting over HDMI. So that's on HDMI 1. And if I select HDMI 1, Without any interference, there is the uh, test pattern generator coming over from the 861. And let's just switch back to the VGA input. And there we go. So it's a very quick switch. So now we're going to do two HDMI switches. So I'm going to disconnect the VGA and connect in HDMI. And that's on HDMI input 2. So we're now going to switch between... HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 back to HDMI 1 and back to HDMI 2. As you can see the average switch time is between one and a half and two seconds. In addition to manual switching mode we've also got auto switching mode. Now if I disconnect the HDMI output from my laptop the VP551X will automatically switch back to the 861 test pattern generator and when I plug the laptop back in as last connected it'll switch back. By accessing the menu via the on-screen display for example we can go into the controls for the switching mode so we can have auto switching off, last connected or auto scan. Another noteworthy feature of the VP551X is its ability to send a CEC command out of the HDMI output to control a display and similarly to send an RS-232 output to do the same. The VP551X has a comprehensive set of built-in web pages allowing for full control of the unit. Amongst the web pages is a full audio DSP control, 
There are diagnostics for things like fan status and temperature. There's control of the PROC amp and as you'd expect things like EDID and HDCP. We'll give a full run through of all the features of the built-in web pages in a separate video. But in the meantime, if you want to check out the functionality and the control of the unit, you can always visit our website at KramerAV.com to find out more information. Thank you for watching. Thank you.